good. Here we go. Do you have enough leg room? Yes. Are just you? About. Who's taller, you or Tammy? Tammy. Definitely Tammy. I when Tammy got in, actually. I was like, yeah, I think you should put your belt yeah. on, so I'll say the same to you as well. <laughs> oh, three points at the weekend. Yeah. And you're back playing regularly. This is, yeah. this must feel like, finally, I'm yes. doing it. I had a good spell at Charlton. Um, really enjoyed it down there, playing regularly. I'd missed the last couple of years prior to that with a couple of injuries. So, um, so yeah, to get to get back out there playing again was was great. And I've got the, the shout to come back, come back to Villa, and um, yeah, get getting the team has, has has been great. And just want to keep it going. As you've had to, you know, you've been at Villa a while, and you've had to wait and had injuries as well. Having waited that a bit longer than perhaps many goalkeepers, does that make you value it more and even more determined to make that stick for you, make that number one jersey yours? Yeah, definitely. I've, I've been here, been at the club for you know, probably more, I think five seasons now, mm. so um, this is the first sort of run of games I've, I've really had and I really want to take this opportunity you know, and, uh, and kick on with, with my career at Aston Villa. What's it like, you know, that, being a goalkeeper is so different than being an outfield player, you know, it's just a few of you. Um, mentally, you do have to be very strong, don't you? Because, you know, people remember you yeah, have a good game, mm. but if you make a mistake, yeah. then everyone remembers it. Yeah, that's that's part and parcel of the job. You know, I think in some ways that's why people say goalies are, are nutters. Um, <laughs> not only do we you know, have to track ourselves at striker's feet, but yeah, you, you've got that, that responsibility as well that, as you say, sort of one mistake and it's, it's a goal. But yeah, we, that's why we train every day. You know, that's why we, we aim to improve to, and to cut out you know, little mistakes. But at the end of the day, everyone makes mistakes. Um, but it's, as a goalie as well, it's how you deal with it. Why did you choose to be a keeper then when, yeah. when you were younger? And what age was it you thought, yeah, no, I'll go between the sticks? Because it's, it is an unusual position to play. Yes. Uh, Initially, I was, I think like most goalkeepers, I was, I was a striker. Um, Were you? Yeah, we all... It's the height goal, thing, isn't it? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think most goalies always fancy themselves as an outfield player. Um, but yeah, I played, played up front um, for my, my local Sunday league team and just happened that our goalkeeper one day got, got injured. So I ended up in, in the sticks and a, a Norwich scout was at the, the five-a-side tournament I was at at that time. So. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's how, how I started playing in goal, yeah. I was actually all right. So, I, I know I was big for my age, so I think I filled, filled the goal quite well <laughs> at that time, so. And what's your relationship like with the other boys? I mean, Lovre Kalanich, he's a, he's a top quality keeper, isn't he? Yeah. And, uh, you know, is he settling in now? And the language barrier, does that cause issues at all? Because you, you few work so closely together, don't you? Yeah, yeah, we, well, as you say, we're, we're a unit. Um, we, you know, the, the goalkeeper union, we, um, we work very closely together on a day-to-day -day basis. So, yeah, Callie, Callie and uh, Oyan both speak very, very good English. So that's not a problem at all. Um, Matty Sarkic and uh, and Callie speak a bit of Croatian together. What about the lads in front of you? Then I mean, there's been a, a change really in the centre back pairing. You've got Courtney House and, and Tyro Mings. How much confidence does it give you having those two sort of man mountains in front mm. of you? I guess. Yes, yeah, you know, it's, it's it's been really. Been really solid. I think every day training, we sort of go away with JT and, and do bits on the uh, defensive side with the back four, back five, and um, and yeah, we've we've worked hard and we've got to know how each other play. And um, I think you know, we, I'd like, to, I'd like to think we all we all trust each other. I certainly trust you know everyone in front of me. We had Tyrone Mings in the car a few weeks ago, and lovely, lovely guy. Yeah, it seems a class act, like on and off the pitch, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Ty's Ty's a great guy. He's, he's helped sort of bring everyone, everyone together as well with the kind of character he is. Uh, we did talk dogs, <laughs> and he told us all about his dog. Yeah. I know all about your dog because I know your <laughs> girlfriend. So um, you've got Benji, the boxer, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've got Benji, or we've got Benji. <laughs> he, um, he currently lives lives with me. Uh, Alice lives lives down in London at the moment. So um, so yeah, I've got I've got. The Benj, as I call him. Aww. Yeah, he's a he's a lively old boxer, but you have to a, take him out before training. And yeah, I take him out prior to training, and um, when I get back as well, I take him out for a run, knacker him out, and uh, yeah, then he then he sort of sleeps the rest of the evening, which is quite nice. So we've we've got a few games left. Yeah. A month ago, it would have seemed a bit crazy to talk about the playoffs, but this amazing run has put Villa in the reckoning. You know, people are talking about Villa as the form club, that they don't want to meet them in the playoffs. Of course, nothing's decided yet, but mm. do you think that 
that you can make it and it's it's pretty possible now. Yeah, we've had a, we've had a really good run and you know it's it's been a massive run for us and as you say it's, it's put us back into the reckoning. Um, you know, we're, we're taking it's, it's an old cliche every every game as it comes because you know, there's some good very good teams around us who and it's a it's a tight going for that fight fifth and sixth place. So um, yeah, so we're. We're looking forward to the running. You know, we're, we're high in confidence, um, which I think you can see on the pitch mm. with the way we're moving the ball and, and playing as a team. And Norwich and Leeds is the, the final couple of games. It doesn't yeah. doesn't get much tougher than that, does it? No, it's uh, they're, they're obviously top two at the moment. So um, yeah, it's going to be they're going to be tough games, but they're going to be good games. And uh, you know, we we've always fancied ourselves to beat anyone in, in this division. So. And you know, the way we're playing at the moment, I think a lot of people would as well. For you, towards the end of the season, have you got? Do you have targets of like, oh, I want X amount of clean sheets, or is it just about three points every game now? At this stage of the season, it's it's three points. Let's let's keep them points coming, and uh, yeah, see see where that takes us. Um, prior to prior to the season, I set I set goals, but at this stage of the season, it's literally let's let's make sure we pick those points up and, and get this club to where where it needs to be and where it belongs. Well, fingers crossed. Yeah, Not long left keep them now. crossed. <laughs> and fingers crossed you stay between the sticks as well, because yeah. everyone's happy to have you there. Oh, so, um, nice one. thank you very much. You survived my driving. <laughs> and don't forget to get Alice a birthday present. I okay? will. Yeah, it's going to in my reminders. <laughs> nice one. Cheers. Cheers, Jed. Thank you. Morning.